It's a psychedelic thing, but it's not a drug thing, okay? Just keep that in mind. Psychedelica, not drugadelica. Hi, this is Timothy Kimo O'Brien, and you've tuned into KDOI Podcasting, Kimo's Den of Iniquity, and we're so glad that you've tuned in this week. This time, we are talking about doing pencil drawings. Now, I know a lot of you are out there thinking, you know, I, I want to do those adult coloring books. Well, a lot of times those adult coloring books are costing like 30 or 40, 50 bucks, plus you got to get the, the crayons or the colored pencils to go ahead and do that. And wouldn't you want to go ahead and do something a little bit more, oh, I don't know, a little bit more creative than that? I mean, it's it, folks, it is pretty much, you know, color in the lines. So a long time ago, um, I was on the Internet, on the interwebs, as they say, and I, I found this one program uh, on there on my browser. It was called StumbleUpon. Now, StumbleUpon is not a sponsor of our show here this week. Uh, or any other week for that matter. But uh, what you can do in StumbleUpon is in your internet browser, you can just hit the uh, the Stumble uh, button and it will bring up uh, various and uh, sundry websites that you have pre-set up for yourself. And basically you're setting up the uh, the categories that you want to look at uh, with, uh, with whatever you're uh, interested in. Now this is a great program for you creative types because if you run out of an idea or if you're just you know running into that stumbling block, you can just go ahead and hit that and something random is going to pop up in front of you. So what I did one day is I hit it and I saw these amazing psychedelic uh, drawings. The instructions were there for it. Now this website, I did this many years ago and unfortunately I didn't save the website, but I saved the instructions and that's what we're going to do this week is we're going to show you how to do these kind of psychedelic pencil drawings for yourself. They're, I think they're very therapeutic they relax me and uh, they give me something that's uh, nice and creative that I can hang up on my wall or give to friends and family. Now, this week, we're going to do three different types of drawings for you here. We're going to use three different mediums for you. Now, I'm not talking mediums where we go, hum, num, 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 I foretell the future. No, not that kind of a medium, folks. What I mean by mediums is pencils, charcoal, and uh, crayon. We are going to use crayons, but not Crayola. Crayola, not a sponsor of KDOI Podcasting. Uh, but before we go any further, uh, let's uh, take a look and see what you're going to need uh, to go ahead and complete this, uh, uh, complete this exercise for yourself. The first thing you're going to need is a notebook. Now, I uh, full transparency here, I got all my supplies over at uh, Michael's because I had coupons and I'm a member of their little uh, buyer's club, whatever it is. Michael's not a sponsor of this show, but that's okay. One day they will be. So I went ahead and got a, uh, uh, you know, got my coupon and uh, I got, uh, first off, a drawing notebook. I'd had perforated sides. So the final product it would be uh, 9 inches uh, by 11 inches. So 9 by 11 uh, drawing uh, surface there. But the perforation and, and all that kind of gives you an extra inch that you can play with. So uh, you want to get the heaviest paper you can get. Really heavy, dude. No, not that kind of heavy, man. No, I mean, I know it's psychedelic. And I know it's the 60s. Um, the uh, 2018s is the new 60s. I have no idea. But... You want to get the heaviest weight paper that you can. Once you get the paper, you'll feel it. it it'll feel almost like cardstock. Um, that's how heavy it is. Uh, and I, of course, I'm showing my experience in the copier world when I used to work third shift at Kinko's and had nothing to do all night but do art. So you want to get the heaviest paper you can find for uh, drawing pads. The next thing you want to do is uh, go ahead and, and for me, I, I spent about 10 bucks on that. Um, uh, next thing you want to do is get a set of 12 colored pencils of various colors. Uh, they come in sets of, you know, 8, 12, 24. I think you can get away with uh, 12 on this one. Um, you know, call me crazy, but, you know, one kind of blue to another kind of a blue, you know, dark blue and a light blue, it's blue. All right. Do yourself a favor. Get yourself 12. 
That should cost you about eight bucks. A set of drawing pencils. Now you can get a variety pack, uh, pretty reasonably priced, uh, and that's going to be ten bucks. And those pencils will have different weights to them. Again, it's the whole heavy man thing. Oh, dude, it's heavy. It's a psychedelic thing, but it's not a drug thing. Okay, just keep that in mind. Psychedelica, not drugadelica. I don't even know if that's a word, but for our uh, purposes here today, drugadelica, it is. Next thing you want to do is get a chamois. Now, I'm not talking about the chamois that you wipe your car down after you uh, wash it. I'm talking a little, a little chamois, uh, a little piece of chamois. It's the same material. It's the same stuff, but it's not a big, huge chamois. You know that you know can cover your face. This chamois can cover your nose if you got a big nose. All right. Um, it's uh, mine is about um, uh, three inches by three inches, and that should be more than enough for you. And I'll tell you why you need your chamois in a little bit. Uh, mine costs about two bucks. Um, you also want a variety of erasers. Now you're like, well, Tim, you know, I got my eraser on, um, you know, the back of my pencil there. No, 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 no. There's different drafting, uh, erasers that you have out there. I have three different kinds of erasers myself. The, uh, old school kind of, um, well, how do you describe it? Uh, kind of not jelly, but it kind of looks like a, 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 a stick of jam. If you freeze a stick of jam, kind of looks like that. Um, a white eraser, and then uh, kind of a gummy eraser uh, for yourself. It just you, you'll you'll use it for different things. Okay, trust me. Get a variety pack for yourself because you're going to want to do a bunch of these. Um, you want to get let's see here. You want to get some artist crayons. Again, not Crayola. Crayola not sponsoring this show. Okay, folks, stop it. They're not sponsoring the show. So uh, I, I artist crayons, just get a variety pack of those. They'll cost you a couple of bucks. They're, they're more expensive than regular crayons because they're artist crayons. And there's fewer colors, a lot fewer colors. And it's kind of restrictive on, uh, you know, what you can do, which is kind of what I like about this project. You know, you can be creative, but in a restricted way. We'll show you more later on. You need a sharpener. Now, you have a lot of pencils going on here, don't you? You want a way to keep them sharp. You don't want dull pencils for this. So get a sharpener for it. I like sharpeners that are not the open-ended ones. I like the ones that have the plastic covering on it. So that way you can uh, keep your shavings. Keep your shavings to yourself, man. It's kind of heavy. Now you want to get charcoal and uh, leads. And you can get a variety pack of these, okay? A variety pack would cost you about another 10 bucks on this, all right? You're going to use these a lot because you're going to see what we're going to do with this. And you're going to want to use them up. Now, charcoal usually comes in a circular cylinder form. And the leads that I'm talking about are like kind of like pencil leads. Um, but it, they're, you know, the wood is removed and they're kind of a square. Um, they're heavy, dude. They're kind of a squarish, heavy thing. Again, we're getting in the psychedelica here. Not the drugadelica. It's not that kind of a heavy thing. You just want to get some leads for it. And I'm not talking about Led Zeppelin, all right? And then uh, to finish the whole thing out, you want to get some matted frames. Now, you can get frames, and then you can get the matting. You can get that separately. I found it at Michael's. Uh, they had them on sale 60% off for about 15 bucks each. And I made four drawings for this, uh, for, especially for this piece, because I'm doing a vignette, not a vinaigrette. There's no oil, and there's no, uh, there's no uh, vinegar with this. This is not a vinaigrette. This is a vignette, Okay. We're not cooking here this week. We're making pencil drawings. So uh, I, I, do yourself a favor. Go up uh, to Michael's or to uh, AJ Wright or Hobby Lobby or whatever you got near you there. A Blix, uh, Utrex, whatever it is. Go there, grab some frames, get some ones that have matting already in it. Now, the ones that I used, the matting uh, brought it down to uh, an 8 by 10 uh, picture. So we're going from a 9 by 11 to an 8 by 10. And you'll see how those turn out for you in the show notes if you take a look at the pictures. Now the first thing that you have there, the first picture that you see there is what everyone sees. Every writer sees, every musician sees, every artist sees this first picture. It's a blank slate. You can do whatever you want with that. It's amazing. You have the freedom. I'm giving you the freedom to do whatever you want on that piece of paper. I'm just going to show you one thing that you can do on that piece of paper. There's an infinite amount of things you can do with that piece of paper. You're only limited by your imagination. This is one thing. 
And I have a picture of all the supplies that I'm using there. I even got a nice nifty case for my pencils because that's what kind of guy I am. If you have a nifty case for your pencils, you'll always know where your pencils and crayons are, won't you? I have twin four-year-olds. Well, they'll be four in June. Uh, by the time you hear this, they will be four. And oh my God, I have to you know case everything up. I got to case it up, man. So that way my girls don't get it because it's kind of heavy. I'm going to show my age here and talk about heavy D. No, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not going to talk about heavy D, but here we go. So like I said, you can grab that uh, all at Michael's and um, yeah, I spent yeah, with a coupon and everything like that, maybe yeah, per picture. Well, uh, in the minus the frames, everything else. Probably about 40 or 50 bucks, but I can't tell you how many pictures that you're going to get out of all those supplies. It is incredible. Okay. So make the investment, make it happen for yourself and commit to yourself. Um, now these four drawings that I did, each drawing took about two hours, uh, two hours time. So I've got about eight hours locked into this. So your first step, you're going to mark up that beautiful blank canvas that you have. You are going to be bold and you are going to do it and you're going to love it. Love it. You're going to make a line. Now, what you can either hold it um, vertically or horizontally, doesn't matter. It's your picture. You do what you want with it. I'm sounding like Bob Ross here, but I don't have any hair. I don't have the afro, folks. But you can do with this however you want. I'm doing it horizontal. So, so that way, the long side is at the bottom and the short sides are uh, vertical. All right. So you take one pencil. I don't care what weight it is. It doesn't really matter, okay? And then you make a nice curvy line from the left side to the right side. Or if you're a lefty, from the right side to the left side. I don't care. Do it either way. As a matter of fact, I want you to do this twice. I want you to do it from the left to the right the first time. And then from the right to the left the second time. Nice and curvy and wavy. Not too curvy. You don't want those curves to be too tight together. It's not like a heart attack picture, but just a nice, gentle curve, okay? do Make it easy on yourself. I'm going to help you make it easy this first time around. I'm going to be gentle. I promise. I'll be gentle. If you'll be gentle with me. Just make a nice, easy line from the left to the right or the right to the left. Doesn't matter. Now, our next step is we're going to go vertical. And um, I just want you to do the one line right to left. And then we're going to go top to bottom or bottom to top. Whichever way you are, it doesn't matter to me. The world doesn't need to know unless you want to tell the world. And just to remind you, if you want to uh, go ahead and let us know how you did on this, go ahead and email me at kdoipodcasting at gmail.com. kdoipodcasting at gmail.com. And if you'd like, we'll get you on the show. And you can talk about your inspiration behind this, what you were thinking when you were drawing this, if you're a top or if you're a bottom, I go for it. Rock it out, okay? So, again, we're going to make wavy lines. Not heart attack wavy, just nice and easy and curvy and wavy. If you're a curvy person, you already know what I'm talking about. If you're a bean pole, you don't know what I'm talking about, but that's okay. All right, just make a nice curvy line. I did about five to six lines uh, from top to bottom, bottom to top, doesn't matter. Um, and we uh, and I spaced them out just randomly, okay? You want to have some space between them, uh, but you don't want it, you know, it, just kind of eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're not going for perfection here, folks. We're not going for perfection. So you got step one and step two done. You got the one horizontal and the five or six vertical lines. Now, from that point... Now we're going to have some fun. It's going to look a little bit funky at this point. And this is the, how I did all of the drawings. All right. So you're going to start the same way for all the drawings. When we change our medium, that's when we're going to change our technique. All right. We've got the vertical, the horizontal and the vertical lines drawn in. Now, between the edge of the paper and the first vertical line, you're going to see your initial line that you uh, drew out, okay? And it's going to cross that vertical line. So what you're going to do is you're going to make kind of a half moon, if you can, um, going up. So it's going to be a frowny face going up and a smiley face going down the page, all right? 
So I want you to connect the edge of the page. That's why you want the perforation. Take the edge of the page and make a either a, a frowny face and keep on doing that going up. And those can be spaced apart however far you want and going down. All right. And you're going to do that for each section. And you're going to not necessarily make all those lines connect with each other. Sometimes it's better if they don't connect. Sometimes it's better if you uh, stagger them. But you're going to do that in all those areas, in all those waves, we're going to call them. They're heavy waves, man. They're heavy waves. So you're going to go ahead and do that for each of those sections. After you get that all done, you should have something along the lines of what you see in that fourth picture there. Yours may look a little bit different than mine, and that's okay. I would recommend, uh, now I'm going to jump into a lessons. well, I'm going to jump into a lessons learned about this. You can either have the lines be visible or not visible for yourself. If you do it very lightly, you should be okay. Uh, they should be fairly invisible. If you're doing a smudging techniques, which we'll show you how to do, um, that should uh, those lines should go away if you want them to go away. Sometimes you want those lines to pop out and go, hey, boom, here's my lines. Leave me alone. Doesn't matter. It's your It's your picture. You make it how you want to make it, okay? So you've got all your lines laid in. And now is where we be bold. That first, uh, well, that first one that you see is uh, with a uh, colored pencil. And I started with a nice, bold brown color. Now, when you're coloring that in, what you may want to do is uh, make it dark on the sides and make it light towards when you get in the middle. So you're, you're keeping your highlight in the middle of that column and you're keeping your darks at the edge. You can do it that way if you want, or you can just, you know, just color it on in, just na da da da, connect the dots. Oh wait, no, it's Pee Wee Herman. Never mind. Don't do it, Pee Wee Herman style. Do it your style, okay? What I uh, did with this one is I just colored it on in. I was just like na 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 na, and it's very therapeutic. If you're angry, if you're angry and you know it, make a drawing. No, but seriously, if you're angry, you can color it in really angrily. If you're feeling kind of you know, happy and loose and free, do it that way. Something that I found worked on a different drawing that I did similar to this is making that highlight in the center of that as best as you can. All right. It's your drawing. I'm going to keep on reminding you of this. This is your drawing. This is my drawing. I liked my drawing. I'm pretty sure I'd like your drawing. Make sure you send your drawing in. Let me see what it looks like. I'm very interested in it. We'll put it up on the website and we'll go, Hey, listen, this is Yahoo's drawing, or this is um, Shamika's drawing. All right, go ahead, send it on into us. KDOI podcasting at gmail.com. And we're also on the Twitter, the Twitter kids at KDOI underscore podcasting. Check it out. Are you tired of looking at your phone all day? How about being online and buying stuff that you really don't need? Well, here at KDOI podcasting, we create more than we consume and we're looking to help bring out the inner artist in you. KDOI Podcasting. Tune in and be amazed. KDOI Podcasting is brought to you by Gagopod. For storytellers that need a strategy, a platform, and a chance to be heard, learn how you can create your next podcast at gagopod.com. Now, the second page that, uh, the second picture you're going to see there, and hopefully uh, you're using a uh, podcast uh, catcher that you can see uh, pictures. You can see the show notes. Um, if, uh, if you want, just go straight to the website, www.kdypodcasting.com, and you'll be able to see all the uh, pictures uh, in there. And, you know, it's kind of the preferred way to, uh, uh, to catch the uh, podcast. But, hey, if you're listening on i on, oh, sorry, I almost said iTunes. Oh, slap me in the hand. If you're listening to on an Apple podcast, you'll be able to see the pictures. If you're listening to it on the uh, you know, the new Google app uh, kind of thing, that's one issue I've seen with it that you can't see the uh, the show notes. Some other podcatchers are like that. You can't see the show notes. Get a podcatcher that you can see the show notes. Again, you can go to my webpage and knock it out right there. But that uh, that next one um, that with the gray, that is with... Um, that is with the uh, charcoal and, uh, and and the leads. All right. Now you can see it's a little bit different uh, than um, than the uh, colored pencils. And also, I've done a little bit of the smudging technique. If you kind of look at the bottom there, where that black part is, 
you can see it's kind of faded in there. Basically, I took the chamois and rubbed it in there. So the charcoal is the uh, cylinder black things. I just kind of rubbed it in there and just rub it in and smudge it out. All right, rub it in, smudge it out. And it'll kind of make a smoky kind of thing for you. And then your lines should pretty much go away for that. For this drawing, I wanted the lines to go away. So, and that's why I did it like that. The next one is just a regular, you know, uh, colored pencil drawing that you see there. I started with a dark, uh, well, kind of a uh, dark color, eh, kind of darkish color uh, in the center. And then I got a blue and a purple outside of it. So start light, go dark, start light, go dark, alternate. All right. Light, dark, light, dark, and see what you can come up with. It looks for me, it looks better when it's light, dark like that. The next page uh, or the next picture you're going to see there is it with, uh, with it all completed. You can see I alternated. I went light to dark. We got the dark blues. We got the browns. We got the greens. We got the light blues. Got kind of an orange, a purple, a red. Um, I, another blue and another purple in there. So it's nice and wavy, okay? And that's with colored pencils. The other one, uh, the next one uh, down to that is with the uh, artist crayons. Now, those artist crayons, um, they uh, don't cover up as much as um, uh, the charcoal does, but that's quite all right. You know, it works. Again, I started with kind of a brown, then kind of went with a skin tone, a pale skin tone, and then I went with a more of a reddish, uh, a rusty color, then back with the brown. So, that we, you know, the brown went in the center, and the brown went on the sides, and then the rust color, and then the uh, the Caucasian pink skin tones. Because not everyone has that skin tone. So I can't call that skin tone. I have to say Caucasian skin tone. And not even all Caucasians have that skin tone. And I'm getting political here for... I don't think I'm getting political. But whatever that is, I'm not doing that. I'm not going there. It's kind of a... I can't even say a flesh tone. Because two people have different colors of flesh. Um, merely a flesh wound. That's what we'll call it. That's merely a flesh wound color. And then the next one is with the uh, charcoals and with the lead and with it smudged. And then um, we have that all uh, framed in there for you. So kind of going back through our steps, um, what I recommend, again, start with uh, start going horizontal, left to right, left to right, uh, right to left, doesn't matter, nice, easy curves. Then go vertical, top to bottom, bottom to top. Nice, easy curves, okay? And when you're doing the vertical side, do about five, maybe six. The reason you're doing five or six is because that's where your wave is. And that center line tells you that that first vertical, that first horizontal line is kind of your center line there. So you're going to build from that center line out in each of those areas. Now, as you can see, I've got different uh, frames. Uh, that's uh, on purpose. The first framed one I have there is with the uh, charcoal and uh, the, the LEDs. And it's a gray frame uh, because it's mainly a gray piece. So I'm reinforcing the gray in there. And you can see it kind of cuts it off. So if you have kind of a mistake on the side there, boom, it's cut off with that matting. And for me, it looks very, very professional when it's done like that. Um, the next one is kind of the, uh, the uh, crayons ones. Now with the crayons, you can do that smudging technique a little bit, uh, but it's not as effective uh, as, the, uh, as the charcoal and the uh, leaded ones are. Uh, that's very effective uh, with that smudging technique with the chamois. The sham, wow. You can wash your car with it. You can make pretty pictures with it. You can slice it, dice it, and make tons and tons of coleslaw, kids. All right, and then the uh, last two there are um, with colored pencils on that. Uh, now, the first one uh, that you see there with the colored pencils, uh, that one is a little bit more um, uh, tighter uh, grouping on that. And I actually used a, uh, a Sharpie, well, not a Sharpie, but a, a, a pen, not really even a felt tip pen, uh, but it, it's an artist's pen. What does that mean? It means it costs, it costs about two bucks extra. All right. It's a, it's a regular pen, but it's got a, a more bold uh, tip to it. It's got a very bold tip, kids. I'd be very careful with it. So that's what I did. Uh, again, each of the, uh, each of the pictures that I did. I took about two hours with. I wanted to take my time with it. Uh, my big lessons learned on this. You're laying lines. You can do them light or very dark. Um, or you keep medium. Again, it's up to you what you want for it. 
I kind of like keeping it light. I like the smedging technique with the uh, charcoal and the leads because it gets those lines out. Um, get those lines out. But it really is up to what you want to do with it. Um, the uh, color pencils, uh, uh, you know, make sure that uh, you uh, do the highlighting in the center there. All right. Uh, that's a nice uh, way to uh, r- really pop it and make it, make it look good. Darken the sides uh, and then uh, leave the highlight in the center uh, of each of those columns. And the smudging. Give it a shot. Now, give it a shot with uh, the uh, color pencils for yourself as well. I just found that it, it works a lot better with the charcoal and with the leads. I've done a lot of uh, charcoal and lead uh, drawings uh, in the past. I actually took a drawing class in college uh, in my SIU day. Southern Illinois in Carbondale. Go Salukis! Uh, we're known for a parking party school. But anyways, I was taking a drawing class. And uh, we had this uh, student, uh, this teacher there, and he was from uh, the UK. And he played uh, techno music uh, when we were drawing. And, uh, you know, he, he caught, he taught me some really good techniques. Uh, basically he taught me to draw what, what you see. And that, that's the thing there and draw what you see when you're doing, you know, pencil drawings. And he really improved my eye for that. And, uh, I'm a big one for the abstract. And, uh, he taught me the smudging technique and I, I've been using it ever since. And it's a fantastic technique. Use it, use it. Again, I want to remind you to, uh, Send in your pictures, all right? Send them on in to us because that's how this whole thing works. Uh, send it in to kdoipodcasting at gmail.com. Go ahead and rate us. Uh, and uh, if you're uh, doing the whole uh, uh, Apple podcast things, go ahead and throw a review in there. Um, go on to uh, my uh, my Facebook uh, site as well um, and uh, knock that out for yourself, okay? Um, if you uh, search for uh, KDOI Podcasting on the Facebook uh, pages, you will definitely find us there. And also, we are over at the Twitter. Um, I, I love the Twitter. Um, and that's at KDOI underscore podcasting. And folks, remember, create more than you consume. I really want to see what you're doing uh, with these projects. I'm very interested. I'd like to bring you on the show, and that way we can talk about it and uh, see what brought you uh, to this. All right? So again, this is Timothy Kim O'Brien signing off for this week. We will see you in two weeks. Please create more than you consume and share it with the rest of us. Cover your nose if you've got a big nose, all right? Um, it's, uh, mine is about um, uh, three inches by three inches.